So this was really not on my bingo card, ladies and gentlemen, and toxic gamers, we gotta talk about it. This thumbnail is as real as those UFOs flying on top of your head, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the homie Andy Pants really made that, okay? <laughs> We're gonna get down to what is Phil Spencer doing? What is going on in video game is in the screen right now? This is what they done to Lara Croft! This is what they done to Lara Croft. You got the Ubisoft Delulu, somebody made that as well. You know, salute to Captain BBC! <laughs> Like the video if you think they're two genders. Dislike the video if you think they're 5,000 genders. Guys, I'm not a savage. I gotta give everybody equal chance, okay? Uh, shout out to the homie Rev. Roll this. Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. So Wait today we're it. talking about the Halo franchise, a franchise I'm sure a lot of you have come across in one form or another over the years. And currently, there's a lot of discussion about what's been going on over the last decade or so and how yeah. things will continue, especially since 343 Industries claimed that Halo Infinite was the start of the next 10 years, and that's turned out to be a disappointment. <laughs> and people are just continuing their distrust of 343 Industries. Industries, who that is crazy that they did say that and then was charged happened. with the task of producing Halo games by Microsoft some time ago after Bungie had finished their role with the game and a lot of people have said ever since Bungie left it hasn't been the same and due to some very poor choices by 343 Industries over the years people do not have faith in this brand yeah. anymore and Halo is trying to do something about now I'll, I'll say this yes there is a lot of criticism because they are ditching their own uh, like assets I would say or not the assets but like the engine right and they're going with the Unreal Engine 5 personally I don't have a problem with them using Unreal Engine the only thing I got with Unreal Engine is that it seems like that there are hundreds if not thousands of thousands of games using this engine and it's a good engine but the only thing is that every game start to look like the same that's the only criticism i got and i got no issues them using this engine a lot of people are like hey bro it's an xbox game right it's a massive xbox game so the fact that they're doing that is like crazy right like make your own engine kind of thing personally i just care for good games fun games and you know them caring for gamers essentially right like damn like that it's not that hard but of course that is not the only thing you know it, it, they are changing keyword big keyword guys changing they're changing they always love changing though lara croft i mean holy crap they're gonna be changing master master chief to mrs chief uh, chief as well bro Wait that. For so it. yesterday they made a very big announcement where they shared a shift they are now going to call themselves Halo Studios instead of 343 Studios. And a lot of people are saying this is the classic uh, everything looks better with a toothpick bit, where basically uh, it's just a name change and it doesn't mean a whole lot. And the negative decisions made at 343 Industries still remain and they don't have faith that this is really going to translate over to anything really changing with the direction of the Halo franchise. Yeah. However, to be fair, a lot of the people responsible for the worst decision. You know, like this meme is just perfect. It's a classic, it's a certified banger, certified hood classic. This meme can literally work with anything. The last, it worked beautifully with Last of Us 2 Remaster Remasters, Last of Us Remaster Remasters, uh, the Until Dawn Remaster. Ultimately, uh, Until Dawn is a masterpiece, don't get me wrong, bro. I love that game, a lot of people love that game. One of the best PlayStation 4 titles of all time. Second wanna see Last of Us, uh, or I should say, uh, Until Dawn 2, Until Dawn 3, myself included, I wanna see it all. Yes, this meme, Certified classic. Certified classic. 343 Industries have been let go over the years, but again, that damage to the reputation is one that is not simply shaken with a simple name change. And on top of that, people have just been waiting for something big to happen, something to really revive this franchise and give yeah. people something to be really excited about. And in their announcement on Twitter in the accompanying video, they also announced that Halo is going to be shifting over to Unreal Engine 5, and how that'll play out with the appearance of this game is something we'll have to wait and see for now. But while this has all been happening, a lot of people have been looking at the, old one. the people responsible for Halo and they're starting to question things and uh -oh. they're questioning people who are making the game they're questioning the role of Microsoft in all this so I think uh -oh. is a much more looming presence than a lot of people think and this tweet right yeah! here whoa whoa tranquilo tranquilo papi tranquilo man this is insane bro not because of the flags okay forget the flags for a second bruh this is truly just like I gotta have a special kind of Wait for it. Wait for it. And this screenshots like it. 
have been making the rounds on social media. I talked very briefly about this particular tweet in a video a few months ago, but I want to re-examine it because people are discovering it now, and yeah. it's crazy. So this individual here is named Nick. He's been involved with the production of Halo for some time here, and apparently he is going to be the creative designer for Halo Studios, and people are laughing at this because this is a very frightening and, you know, it's funny, but it's still a pretty frightening direction of this game if this is true, because Nick just embodies the modern gaming industry, right? You look at their mm. Twitter profile here, of course. That banana that he's holding in in hands, it's gonna come back to bite you guys, or it's gonna come back to haunt you. It's gonna make sense. It's a metaphor. Wait for it. They're private because they can't take any criticism. And then they have a bunch of virtue signaling flags in their names that honestly contradict one another. But this guy has made some interesting tweets over the years about guns. He has a very yeah. bad view of guns. It makes him very uncomfortable, which makes this tweet crazy. So he said, I honestly don't think I could work on a game that glorifies or fantasizes modern guns. Call of Duty, Battlefield, RB6. I've had moments where I've struggled with Halo, but the weapons and world is pretty sci-fi, which creates a large enough separation from reality. Yes, this person will be responsible for creative decisions involving... I am all for if you don't like guns. I think you can have your opinion. That's perfectly fine. You love them. Hey, cool by me. You, you don't like them cool by me you think that they are they, they kill people yeah understandable you think that it's not guns that kill people yes that's fine by me like you have your opinions you got your opinions right and nick can have it all but bro it's a video game it's a video game and secondly it's a video game that always had guns it's an fps game my G. it's an fps game bro what are we talking about? You don't like guns and you don't like designing them in a video game which is not real, that always had guns. It's an FPS game, first person shooter. You don't like it? Fair! But then don't work on this game, bro. Don't work on this game. Work on Dustborn. Dustborn needs you. Dustborn needs you. Dustborn needs you. America needs you. Dustborn needs you. Yeah, Dustborn needs you. Not America. America don't need Bruh. you. Or maybe it needs you. I don't know. But like, it seems like that Dustborn is calling you. Dustborn needs you, brother. You gotta be a Dustborn, man. Yeah, damn, man. Like, we need your creative mind uh, at Dustborn facilities immediately, brother. A first-person shooter when he is afraid of guns, including guns in a fictional setting. I mean, number one, right off the bat, like, if you can't separate fiction from reality, at the minimum, you probably should be working in this industry. But you especially shouldn't be working on these things if you can't separate fiction from reality involving guns when you're working on a first-person shooter. That is insane. That's like hiring a vegan to work at the slaughterhouse. None of this makes sense. And honestly, it reminds me of the uh, narrative director behind the latest Wolverine game who hates white men. But then they're working on a protagonist who is a white man. And you have to think about these sorts of attitudes and propensities and how it might actually affect your job. Like, how is someone who has this sort of mindset with fiction versus reality involving guns, how can they work on a Halo game and give some... Wolverine, one of the straightest, manliest character, fictional character ever, probably gonna get changed as well. Yeah. Lara Croft, one of the most feminine, badass, female video game character ever, got changed. So what, yeah, these things are hella sexist to females, man. Right, you know what I'm saying? We had Ubisoft Delulu, Captain Delulu, Captain BBC, right? That situation went down too. They always do that to my black uh, black homies, man. They always do that to my Asian homies. They always use LGBT people as shields. They always use black people as shields all the time, man. They can never make a normal black person in the game. It gotta either be black guys or fat or stupid or retarded. They always do that. They, they can never make a straight, normal black person. Either it's a female that's also bad, not straight. They always do that, man. Like, why you guys do this to black people, bro? You suckers are crazy, man. It's Dustborn, video game cover, black chick. That's actually trans. They always do that to black people, man. They always do that to black people, bro really productive insight about where to go with things creatively like and now this and now this yeah don't like guns and that's fine you don't like it don't like it but damn bro like it's a video game bro it's a game it's an fps game that always had guns maybe work on candy crush he's gonna find some way to even ruin that for my moms out there shout out to my moms out here that love playing candy crush man your mama probably plays that too your mama probably plays candy crush too i was shocked to find out my mom 
plays Candy Crush too, so this thing is gonna ruin that somehow. <laughs> this thing is gonna ruin that somehow as well, man. Like, it just seems very, very odd. But a lot of people have been focusing on this individual named Melissa Boone, who was featured in that promotional video for the shift over to Halo Studios. People have been clowning on her, they've been looking at her resume, seeing this whole about section, all of it is all just about diversity and equity and all these things, even using the term Latinx, which uh, to my Hispanic viewers, I know a lot of you uh, do not like that term and people use it as a virtue signal. So feel free to share yeah. your thoughts about that term being included here. But people are also looking at her LinkedIn profile, which of course has this pride flag in it. And the reaction to this discovery and her involvement with Halo Studios has been very mixed. Some people think this is the craziest news ever and uh, they're doom saying about this. And then some people say this is no big deal at all. And I think there's some middle ground here, which I'm going to explain. So she is the chief of staff at Halo Studios, which is a role that shouldn't have much creative input. Typically, it just is a procedural thing, helping move resources where they need to go, people but where they need to help. go, and not actually giving any sort of creative input whatsoever, if that's how their job is actually functioning, how it, it should be. But it really represents a lot more about who they allow into their company in the first place and it really reflects on microsoft i think a lot of people are underestimating the role of microsoft after all they yeah. own halo and also they have had a very great involvement with pushing dei on levels that are really quite impressive even when you compare them to the sweet babies of the world and stuff like that so they've been on their social justice journey really for a while but it started the most significantly in 2020 with this post saying addressing racial injustice where they committed an additional $150 million of D and I investment, and they would double the number of black and African American employees in certain positions. And yeah, that's where it really began reacting to American Bruh. social justice concerns back in 2020. I would say like, it shouldn't even matter like the color of your skin or gender or whether you like your orientation or religion or the way you look. If you're good for the job, like, you're good for the job, yeah, people should naturally, uh, I mean, in a perfect world, that's how it would be, but, of course, it's an imperfect world that we're living in. And then this would, this sort of attitude would creep into games, of course, where we had this unbelievable, uh, game guide here for video game developers, game guide, released okay. by Microsoft, you can see here, it's framed <laughs> in a way that's supposed to allow game developers to learn and understand how to create games and, uh, create characters that will make gamers feel included and represented in a positive way, and we got some amazing quotes and explanations from this guide. So referring to the creation of female characters, there's this part right here saying, are you creating playable female characters that are equal in skill and ability to their male peers? Are you are, are your female characters equipped with clothing and armor that fits their tasks? And do they have exaggerated body proportions? <laughs> Which is funny because we just saw with Stellar Blade, people freaking out, calling yeah. that unrealistic, even though it's based on a real life Korean model. And then you would look at games nowadays, like I swear the person who wrote this guide, they would have a stroke if they saw the latest promotion from the first descendant. But anyways, they continue on this guide to give many different checklists, basically some boxes to check off when you're making games, especially when it comes to uh, representation and authenticity, Ruby, uh, yeah. almost putting like quotas. Where is my representation at? Where is my representation at? Can a brown man, can a brown man get its representation? Where is my representation at, man? You suckers are crazy, man. You suckers are always screaming like DEI, diversity, inclusivity, but where is my representation at, huh? Hmm? Huh? Where's my representation at, bro? On people, like, you have to have this many minorities for this. What a brown man, what a minority like me, like me gotta do to get its representation. Bruh. What a minority, I'm a minority. I am a minority. <laughs> <coughs> I'm a minority, man. I'm a minority. I am a minority. I am a Guys, I'm joking around, uh, but I'm brown. I'm brown. I'm Pakistani. I'm ethnically brown, okay? So, and I never get my representation, bro. These seconds never give me my representation, man. If they're gonna play that, I can play that too. Because, like, everybody getting representation except for me, man. Like, damn, homie. Uh, if you're not getting your representation, I want you to, like, put it in the comments. So, yeah, I'm gonna fight for your rights as well, guys. I'm gonna fight for you. Listen here, okay? You come here. I'm gonna fight for your rights, all right? I'm gonna... We're gonna do this together, guys. This many non-minorities, and you have to follow this in order to make people feel safe playing your game. It's a lot of box checking, and that's something <laughs> that Microsoft does very regularly, including <laughs> this year, where they released this tweet, which is basically the meme, right? Big corporation literally on June 1st, the first day of Pride Month, making their annual Pride Month tweet where then they will basically stop talking about all this stuff as soon as June is over. And we saw another tweet coming from the Halo account that we looked at earlier, making this one within minutes of the Microsoft one, making this 
disaster. This was a disaster. Okay, you can see in this stunning and brave post, they were not so stunning and brave, and they locked the replies, and the quotes were absolutely shredding this. A lot of people kind of consider this like the modern state of the Halo franchise when they're yeah. they're doing stuff like this. It seems like they have gone so far off from just making fun games to now virtue signaling and doing all this extra stuff that people don't want. And that is reflected by this survey that's been going around very recently that makes some pretty yeah. bold yeah, claims about how gamers feel and view DEI in their games. And I think it's very clear, and if it wasn't clear already from the current climate, this study says 95% of players don't care about inclusivity in games. And one of the reasons this happened Even a two-year-old can see this coming. Like, yeah, oh, you, it, it's like gamers just want good games for being made for them. Gamers just want good games being made for them. Simple, simple. Why is that so hard? Why is that so hard? You say like, it's turn around, don't make games for the gamers, then you are like, hey, buy our game. Oh, don't don't like it, don't buy it. And then when gamers are not buying, you then turn around and call gamers toxic. You call your own customer base toxic and you call gamers all kind of names. And, and when your game completely fails, you're blaming the gamers. You're like, yeah, gamers didn't buy it. Gamers, of course they didn't, they didn't buy it because you did not make the game for them. And secondly, you said, don't like it, don't buy it. And third of all, you started calling gamers bigots, homophobes, toxic, menace to society, deserve to not live. Like, what are we talking about, man? You suckers are crazy, man. Happened to them is seeing things like forced inclusivity being associated with DEI and all this nonsense. And that shouldn't surprise anyone. The proof is in the pudding. If it wasn't obvious over the years, 2024 has been a wild year where mm. DEI mm. has been stomped out by gamers. It really mm. has been. We have seen so many major titles failing, yeah. and one of the main things shared between all of them is that they had a focus on DEI, whether it's the gameplay itself or the attitude of the developers who worked on it. When people discover this stuff, they are turned off by it. They think it's a bunch of forced virtue signaling, and they are speaking with their wallets, and they're not engaging with it. So yeah. seeing 95% of players... My wallets stay closed, just like their minds. ...in this poll saying they don't care about inclusivity in games, that's not surprising at all. And funny enough, it seems like Microsoft might have been making this realization earlier this summer, back in July. Oh, oh my God. God, yeah, I remember that, right? So they laid off, uh, not just laid off, they fired their DEI team. So after four years, right, or three years, they realized they fired. Uh, and, and yeah, I, I'm not sure about this one. I feel like that it's too late. Uh, probably, nah, it's not, it's never too late. They can always fix it, but they're not gonna, right? This is in Fable. Yeah, but you guys, uh, the best, the most badass, beautiful video game character ever, right? Yeah. I guess they're waking up, but it's like, recently, recently we got the Halo situation. So, like, I don't know. They're gonna change Master Chief to Mrs. Chief, probably. Tomb Raider situation happened. Although that's like anime only, we have to still wait and see for the game character. They revealed it and uh, yeah, it, it had some criticism. It was also a little bit masculine. This one, the animated one that just released its whole, it's a lot more masculine than uh, the video game character they revealed a while ago. But here's the thing though, and the keyword is a while ago, they revealed the video game character of Lara Croft, the new and revised one, right? A while ago. So the update, updated one that they will reveal uh, in the future before the game comes out, might be even worse than this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You never know, guys. I'm just trying to be realistic based off of what I'm seeing, right? We had the Captain BBC as well. Salute to Captain BBC, man. Always salute to Captain They BBC. made this headline saying, Microsoft laid off a DEI team, and its lead wrote in an internal email blasting how DEI is no longer business critical. Now, when this came out, everyone That's was crazy. going, oh my god. You guys are hella racist for that one. First, you're like, gamers are racist. Give me now who's the racist who's the racist you guys are not gonna have dei what what you guys are crazy or i should say you guys think that dei is no longer business critical yeah it's all about the money fellas it's all about the money virtue is virtue signaling like hey we're gonna like wave all kinds of flags but when we don't see money coming in like a tsunami we're gonna abandon every every everyone and everything yeah f y'all that's what microsoft literally said with this one they don't care Thanks. they don't care they always use lgbt people as shields black people as shields they never want to have brown people white people are always toxic according to them 
uh, white people bad, right? Uh, gamers, oh hell, they don't deserve to live. <laughs> gamers don't deserve to live. The gamers bad. Gamers bigots. Gamers racist. You know, we wanna have mentorship program. Actually, a fact with Ubisoft at the very least, right? They had mentorship program where men are not allowed. <laughs> Just next level insanity, bro. It's Microsoft. They're rejecting DEI. It's over. We're winning. Blah blah blah. And people like myself said, wait a second, this isn't a rejection of DI, this is a rebranding, much like the rebranding of 343 to Halo Studios, this is a rebrand of DI in a not so subtle way, as we'll see. I talked about that post and the company and the rebrand that I was referring to just now, which is called Bridge. If you want the full breakdown of oh, they, all that- Oh yeah, so the new word is Bridge? Yeah, like Bridge, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Bridge, okay. Yeah. Stuff. I'll put Ooh. a link to this video in the description, but to sum it up very briefly just for the purpose of this video, Bridge is a global initiative. It's basically sweet baby on steroids. They don't just want to put DEI stuff in your video games. They want it to be a part of every single company across the globe. In Rick. fact, in that previous video, we watched some clips from the CEO of Bridge who has made some very crazy claims like she wants companies to have every employee to the point where DEI and all these related things are just a part of your DNA. You don't even question it anymore. It's just a part of who you are and how you think, and you just keep following through on this stuff without question. And That's they don't insane, just want bro. the Wild. CEOs of these companies to be following these these protocols. They tried that initially, and there was much more DEI focus, at least in. Uh, this is what this is one of those kind of things that Hitler did, right? So we're really it's coming back in full circle. Aim, and they realized that a lot of CEOs and higher ups. They were just doing this to check boxes and they didn't actually care about pushing any of these related agendas. So then they rebranded to Bridge, where they're having this different acronym, which is a, a ridiculous one. The, the G stands for gap between uh, diversity and equity and, and all these things. It, it's yeah. so obnoxious. But anyways, this was an attempt to rebrand. It's over, boys. It is Joe over. Do not watch this video. Whatever you do, do not watch this video. They have, like, I, I went, bro, like... I was pissed off in that video, bro. Don't, whatever you do, don't watch that video, bro. Check out the video on the left, man.